a small country can be can have a voice to be heard in the region and in international forums but that depends on several factors it's not automatic in fact you have to work very hard at it because the world is dominated by bigger countries that is the underlying theme of Professor Ash Jayakuma's new book titled Diplomacy, A Singapore Experience, published by The Straits Times Press. It was launched on Thursday at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs Tangling Road premises. The launch was attended by over 200 guests, including members of the diplomatic corps, former politicians and government officials. The 316-page book contains Professor Jayakuma's reflections on numerous events and watershed episodes during his years in public service, such as the Michael Fay and Flor Contemplacion incidents. The book began as a humble project to present case studies to younger officers in the MFA and the civil service, but evolved into a full-fledged publication. At its launch, the former foreign minister spoke on the importance of diplomacy to a vulnerable country like Singapore. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong has a very good team of ministers now. Though Giorgio's absence, in my view, will be felt for some time. Our economy is doing well. MFA continues to attract good officers. But can we guarantee that this combination of factors can be sustained indefinitely. I do not know. But I do know that the moment we fail to do so, then we will be marginalised in the international arena. I make this point because all Singaporeans, and not just civil servants and MFA officers, must understand that for all our success and growth, we will always remain a small state. And vulnerability is an inherent condition of all small states. Speaking to reporters after the event, Professor Jayakuma spoke about his most memorable experience in 35 years. Most, shall I say, satisfying and challenging experience for me in foreign affairs was clearly the Pedra Branca issue. Why? because it lasted for uh, three decades and I got involved in it when I was in the university even before I got involved in politics. So I had to see through uh, over a period of 30 years, finally ending with the judgment in the International Court of Justice. So it's satisfying for many reasons, my personal involvement, my interest in international law and I think uh, also because it was a very good example of how countries could settle their dispute in a civilized way uh, without it being a thorn or irritant derailing the overall bilateral relations. I thought it was a very good example Malaysia and Singapore set. For his full interview with The Straits Times, his full speech at the book launch, as well as his thoughts on the elected presidency, Watch the subsequent clips.